Understanding the phrase, penny less. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase that might sound a bit puzzling at first. Penny less. Now, don't worry if you've never heard it before or if you're unsure about what it means. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand this phrase thoroughly but also be able to use it confidently in your conversations. So, let's get started. The phrase, penny less, is not a common idiomatic expression. Instead, it's a combination of the word, penny, which is a small unit of currency, and, less, which is a suffix meaning, without, or, lacking. When we say someone is, penny less, we are literally saying they are without pennies, or in other words, they have no money or are extremely poor. It's important to note that, penny less, isn't a fixed phrase or idiom in English. It's more likely you'll encounter the term, penniless, which is an actual word meaning having no money whatsoever. However, understanding, penny less, is a good way to see how English words can be combined to create new meanings. Now that we know what penny less means, let's look at how it might appear in conversation or writing. 1. Describing a situation, after paying all the bills, I'm nearly penny less this month. 2. Historical reference, in the past, people who were penny less were often forced to live in workhouses. 3. Figurative speech, investing in that risky stock left him virtually penny less. While you may not use penny less often, understanding the components of this phrase can help you decipher similar phrases in English. With any phrase in English, context is key. The phrase penny less can be taken literally, but it can also be used hyperbolically to express that someone is temporarily out of money or feeling particularly poor at a moment in time. It's not always an indication of actual, dire financial status. For instance, a friend might jokingly say they are penny less after buying an expensive item, even though they aren't truly out of money. Always pay attention to the context in which it's used. We hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, penny less, and given you confidence in understanding and possibly using this phrase. English is full of such nuances, and each one you master makes you that much more proficient. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more English language learning content. Until next time, keep practicing and stay curious.